The following technical support video will show you how to use the export feature in multi-rip GP direct -to garment rip software. This export feature is also the standard feature in the multi-rip hybrid printing version of the software as well. What you'll do is after you send a job to the rip, it'll show up in the pages to printers tab. And you can click on the individual file names and it will give you the sample of what it's going to print like depending on what file and what layer you use. What we're going to do in this case is we believe that this surf shop that has ordered this graphic is going to come back at a later date um, and want to have reprints. When you go to set your graphic up you'll do things in your Photoshop or Corel or Illustrator to the graphic to adjust the colors and things like that. You'll also have different settings in the RIP. What this export feature does is it saves all of those different settings that you've had and puts it into a file that will allow you to reprint it without ever having to go back in to a graphic software program. To do this, we'll go to the Pages to Printers tab on the RIP, which is the fourth window, and we're going to highlight the file. In this case, I have a white underbase and a CMYK with white highlight layer here. So I'm going to hold down the shift button and highlight both of those files because I'm going to save them together. I'm going to right click over it and go down to export. The export will then open up a window and ask us where we want to save your file. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to save it to the desktop. I recommend you create folders for different customers of yours and stuff and save them in there. It might make it a little bit easier. If you need to make a new folder, you can do it in the bottom left hand corner. Just go ahead and click OK. It's now going to ask you for the name of the exported job. Well, as I mentioned, this is going to a surf shop. And I'd like to put what the actual design is in the title of it. So in this case, it's surf shop underscore skull surfboard. Come down in the comments. In the comments, I like to put, you know, a little bit about the design, the ink cost, and things like that. So I'll do that now. The ink cost, according to the calculator, says that it's a dollar nineteen. I like to put in what I charged a customer. dollars per shirt and then I also like to put the invoice that it showed up so if I ever have to come back to that invoice I know which one I'm talking with now what you see in here will show up later but what I recommend you not doing is continuing to type beyond the viewable space of this box as it won't show up in the preview window so a lot of these dots won't show up so don't continue to go over with that if you start getting to the edge, just make sure you go ahead and hit the return key. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save our file. It's going to begin the process of storing the file. Since we have two different layers, it's going to store the first layer and then it'll store the second layer. This is a key feature in the fact that it'll allow you to view each individual layer as well. Now that we have that, we're going to go and look at our desktop to see the file. The file shows up right here at surfshop underscore skull surfboard. In order for us to reprint this file, we're going to need to go into the folder that allows us access. If you click on your start button, go to your all programs, depending on which program uh, operating system you have, it'll look a little different. But if you click on the multi-rip GP1800 and go down to the feature called print archive job. What that will do is that will launch a separate application. In this it, you'll see where it shows up comments which is grayed out. It will give you the output queue so you can determine what queue you want to send it to if you have multiple printers and things. In order to oh, bring a file in we'll click on file and go to print archive job. It will bring up the browse window and we're going to look for is we're going to go to the desktop and find our file double click on it it'll bring it in you'll notice the name of it shows up here all of our different um, comments show up here as well 
and then it will show up. You choose what output key you're going to put it on, and then you have the different layers. You can highlight both of these layers when you go to reproduce, put in the number of copies you want to do, and hit production run. For the layer previewing, in the bottom right corner is a drop down box. If you click on the different ones, you'll see what each layer is going to look like. This will give you the ability to make sure you're reprinting the right graphic. And that is basically the process of how to export and then re-import a saved file graphic that comes from the RIP. If you have more questions, please visit www.multiripusers.com. Thank you.